Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have ever wondered what the list of the top 10 features and changes that users want Microsoft to introduce into the Windows 11 start menu, then just a quick video to go through the top 10 most requested features according to the Feedback Hub and a recent post by Neowin. Now, as many of you will know, from Windows 10 to Windows 11, um, the start menu was stripped down quite a lot when it comes to functional features that were available and are available um, in the Windows 10 start menu. So according to the Feedback Hub app, the first most requested feature is that Microsoft turns off and removes the recommended section. And this one will also get my vote. And this had the most votes at 9,800 plus upvotes. Now, currently in Windows 11, although you can't turn the recommended section off completely. If we right click and we head over to the start settings, you can change the layout to more pins and you can also turn off some of these options which will uh, basically reduce a whole lot of the clutter that is seen in the recommended like I have currently um, on this device as you can see, but you can't totally remove the recommended. So that's uh, the top requested feature. And Microsoft's response, your desire to have this functionality has been shared with the team. And spoiler alert, it seems that according to Microsoft's response for most of these features, that they will not be doing anything about most of these requests in the future. So that's just a quick spoiler alert. Number two, allow resizing the start menu. This one will also get my vote. Uh, 3,600 plus upvotes, Microsoft's response, we've got this. Number three, go back to the Windows 10 style start menu, 3,300 plus upvotes, Microsoft's response. We appreciate you taking the time to give us feedback. Number four, display jump lists when right clicking pinned to the start menu apps, 2,400 plus upvotes. Now, as many of you will know, currently in Windows 11, if we head to the all apps, if you right click on an app. I'm just going to use the Microsoft Store because I've got that pinned to my start menu. If you right click, you get your jump lists. But if you head back to the pinned apps list, you get nothing. You don't get a jump list. So that's the fourth most requested feature. But Microsoft does say though that if you head back to those start settings and you turn on show recently opened items in start jump lists and file explorer, that should resolve that issue. But nonetheless, that's the fourth most requested feature. Moving on to number five, the uninstall option opens the legacy control panel instead of the settings app. So just to demonstrate, as an example, if I want to uninstall this app and I click on uninstall, it takes me to the apps, installed apps list and not the legacy control panel, which a lot of the users are wanting because this is the fifth most requested feature. Now, although Microsoft said that this change was introduced in an earlier release to Windows 11, as you can see, still not the case because if we want to uninstall an app, you can see that that uninstall option takes us directly to the installed apps list and not the programs and features list in the control panel. Moving on to number six, switch the all apps list from the vertical list to the grid view. So all apps, not a vertical list, but a grid view. This said 1,530 plus upvotes, Microsoft's response. Once again, we've got this. And then moving on to number eight, make the start menu open to the all apps list by default. So instead of opening um, where you're pinned and recommended are to open with the all apps list by default, 1,100 plus upvotes, Microsoft's response. Once again, we've got this. Now the second last one, number nine, is to be able to add the full screen start menu option. 1,090 plus upvotes, Microsoft says, we've got this. And the last one, number 10, bring back live tiles. And this is a highly requested feature I've seen in a lot of reports and comments. Bring back live tiles, 1,080 plus upvotes, Microsoft's response, thank you so much for giving us your feedback. So as we can see, and as mentioned, um, most of these features Microsoft will never really roll out and address um, when it comes to the start menu. But nonetheless, those are the most requested features and changes that Microsoft brings to the Windows 11 start menu, many of which were stripped away from the start menu, moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.